Hello, this is Steve from SDR Play. One of the most eagerly anticipated features in SDR Uno 1.4 is the ability to use plugins. Now third parties have started developing plugins to work with SDR Uno, and in today's video we're going to show you how to install a third party plugin. The first thing to note is that you want to create your own directory to save plugins. You might be tempted to use an existing plugin directory that's inside the SDR Uno directory, but that is not recommended. If you do so, you run the risk of losing those plugins during future updates to SDR Uno. So instead, we suggest putting something perhaps in your documents folder where you may already have things such as memory bank storage and uh, IQ recordings you've made with SDR Uno. And uh, here's one way of doing it. You don't have to uh, organize it exactly as shown. Uh, you can just put it anywhere on your hard drive that's convenient for you. And uh, once you've done that, all you need to do is right click in the plugin window and you can navigate to that directory and your plugins will be available to you. Let's see how this looks in practice. When you start up SDR Uno, the auto layout function may put the plugins window already open on your screen. Uh, there isn't enough real estate on my laptop here, so the plugin window is not open automatically. But if I go to the main window and click on the plugins button, uh, I can see the plugins will open up here. And uh, then we can open up the selected plugin. What we want to do now, though, is we want to add a third party plugin. And as an example, we're going to use Eric Cottrell's Fran plugin, and I'm going to show you how to load that onto your system. So first up, let's go and uh, find the download. Here it is, SDR Uno plugin Fran. Uh, I downloaded this from uh, Eric's Google Drive, and uh, now I just need to install it uh, into my plugin directory. What I really need is the uh, CSV file and the DLL itself. So. I'm just going to uh, copy those two files and if I now go over to my documents folder um, what you'll see is I already have a directory here called SDR play and uh, I use this to contain my memory banks my various sound recordings and various IQ recordings I've made with SDR Uno so just for my convenience I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it plugins And uh, within that folder, I am now going to paste those uh, two files the uh, plugin for Fran itself, the DLL, and the CSV file. Uh, having done that, um, what I need to do now is go back to the plugin uh, window, right click, and I get the option to select my plugin folder. And as you will recall, uh, it's in Documents and uh, SDR Play Plugins. And that's, that's my folder, so if I do OK, uh, as if by magic, Fran has now appeared in my plugin list. And uh, I can load that plugin, and uh, we, can, we can do the, uh, the usual routine for, uh, let's see, let's open up a file. Again, we'll go to Documents, SDR Play, Plugins. We'll pick the CSV file, we'll open that up, and we've got the, uh, the file is now shown, and uh, away we go. As you can see, we need to zoom in, there's a ton of data here. So that is uh, where or how you can install your uh, third-party plugin, and uh, you may be wondering at this point why I specified uh, sticking it in your documents folder and not in uh, program files SDR play um, well, The reason for that is simple if you go to this folder here SDR play You will see your SDR Uno folder and uh, you'll see a plugins directory That is where the built-in plugins reside uh, You do not want to add third-party plugins there because when you subsequently update SDR in the future that directory will be overwritten and you will lose your third-party plugins. So what you need to do is find a different home to keep your plugins, as I showed here in, uh, in my documents folder, and then my plugins will still be there every time I upgrade SDR Uno in the future. It doesn't have to be laid out exactly like this. 
You can pick any location you like and then you can specify that location by right clicking in the plugins window. So to recap, first you need to create a directory where you're going to save your own third party plugins. And then within SDR Uno in the plugins window, right click to navigate to that directory and those plugins will be available to you. If you have any questions or just need further information, please visit our website at sdrplay.com. Thanks for watching 73.